Hey guys, so today I am making a card using the Ulta New Henna Elements stamp set and this is kind of going along with the 30 day color challenge that's on Instagram by Kathy from The Daily Marker. So again, I will have that um, linked below to her blog if you guys are interested in joining it. I'm going to try to do a video every day. Um, not quite sure how that will work, but <laughs> I thought I would just kind of share the different coloring techniques that I'm using um, and just film the video while I am making the cards. So I am stamping two of these flowers with my Versamark ink on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. And you saw me go over that with my powder tool, which helps tremendously cut down on your static, um, static electricity when you're heat embossing. So I'm heat embossing these with the gold embossing powder from Zang, which is by American Crafts. I'll tap off the excess, and then I went ahead and melted that with my heat tool. And then I'm going to color these in with my distress markers. So I have sponge sugar and worn lipstick and my water brush. So I'm starting with a sponge sugar and I'm just coloring all of these petals in with that. I want that really light base coat to be on there. And I'm kind of working in smaller areas just because I want that to stay wet while I kind of add the shading in with the darker color. So I'll go in then with my worn lipstick and just add that to the inner edges of the petals. It just creates some shading on there and a little bit more depth. So then I go back in with the lighter color and kind of blend them together just until it works. Um, it's definitely not perfect and it's not, you know, perfect shading by any means, but I really like the way that the watercolors look because there's just something about them that is more artsy I guess and you can see how that looks when I started building up that color on that smaller one it really has the depth and dimension so I'm just doing the same thing with the larger one I used the sponge sugar to um, color that base coat and then I'm adding in the uh, worn lipstick to the inner edges of that and just building the color. You can also do this with different colors so you could make a whole variety of flowers on your card in many different colors. I just like the pink and gold. It's a little bit of a soft um, color combination. You could heat emboss the outer edges with a different color and just kind of make whatever your heart desires. Create like some funky colored flowers. Those are always fun. So I'm just finishing up coloring that in and doing the same thing to the inner leaves. So I just want to add the darker color. And you can also use, you don't have to use distress markers, you can also use the distress ink pads. You could do this with other watercolors if you wanted. Um, distress stains even, you can use that with your water brush. It kind of does the same thing. It might just be a little bit more concentrated color, but just play around with your supplies and what you have. I'm all for using the supplies that you have because I know I'm on a limited budget because I just graduated from college so I don't have tons of money to spend so I like to use what I have. And then on the inside of the flowers I'm just adding a little bit of mustard seed which is a brighter yellow color. Alright, so I went ahead and fussy cut those out when I was done coloring them. And then I'm taking this strip of pattern paper from the Lawn Fawn Let's Poke a 6x6 paper pad and adding that onto a piece of white cardstock that measures 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. I'm adding that to the right hand side of that. And then I'm going to heat emboss this little, uh, I don't even know what it is, this row of shapes. It has like some dots and some, they look like kind of like flowery images. I'm going to kind of throw that onto my nonstick craft sheet just so that it straightens itself out and then add it to my Fisker stamp press. I know most of you probably have the Misty and you can use that but I just have the Fisker stamp press for now. <laughs> so I am going to heat emboss this as well with the gold embossing powder so I'm inking that up with my Versamark ink. And then I'm going to stamp that right directly next to my patterned paper. 
and you just want to make sure that you push really well on the stamp and that it gets all areas of that stamped perfectly and then apply the gold embossing powder and then I went ahead and heat embossed that so that all of the embossing powder was melted there's some a few areas where it wasn't sticking but once I added some more it um, looked a lot better All right, so then for the sentiment, I'm using the thanks from the same stamp set, and I have this little tiny fishtail banner that I cut, so I'm going to stamp that right in the center, and then I am going to heat emboss that with the same gold embossing powder that I've been using. I really wanted to kind of carry that theme through. So in my background, I am going to use this Gold LeMay Color Shine from Heidi Swap. I think it's just called Gold now. The name changed since I had it. But I kind of splattered that on there and I wasn't really happy with it. So I just took a towel and kind of wiped off the excess before it dried. And it made it a little bit lighter and less noticeable. So I really liked the way that that turned out. And the reason I put that on there was because I didn't want the right side of the card to be weighed down with everything on that side. Because the flowers are going to go kind of over there too. So I liked the balance that the color shine gave that. So I'm just adhering down the flowers with my ATG gun. And then I'm going to adhere the sentiment with some 3D foam squares. These are the small ones from Best Creation. And then I'm going to have that overlap the larger flower on the bottom. And I really love this combination of pinks and golds. And that pattern paper actually matches those colors perfectly. So it looks really awesome in person. So that is my finished card for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys back here next time. Bye!